When you think of India, what comes to mind? Maybe it's the Taj Mahal or tasty naan bread or even doing yoga, but there's so much more to this land of vibrant colors than just that. Welcome to Geography with Drew Binsky. In today's episode, we're gonna learn all about India from strange traditions to wacky facts and a crazy story at the end. Don't go anywhere. Geography with Drew Binsky. India is the second most populous country in the world behind China, and it's the seventh largest country in the world by area. It's located in South Asia, and the capital city is New Delhi, but the most famous and largest city is Mumbai. India is a huge and diverse country that has a lot to offer. It has beautiful mountains, rivers, and beaches, and it also has a wide range of climates, from the hot and dry desert in the west to the mountains of the north and the rainy tropical forests in the south. One of the most famous geographical features of India is the Himalayas, which is the highest mountain range in the entire world, home to none other than Mount Everest, the tallest mountain on our planet. The official language of India is Hindi, but there are also many other languages spoken in the country, such as English, Tamil, Bengali, and Punjabi. In fact, India is so diverse that there's 21 officially recognized languages and thousands of other dialects. The Indian flag has three equal horizontal sections, orange at the top, white in the middle, and green at the bottom. The orange color represents courage and sacrifice, the white represents peace and truth, and the green represents faith. The blue wheel in the center represents the wheel of law and order in the national emblem. The currency of India is called the Indian rupee. With Indian rupees, you can buy all kinds of things like food, clothes, and souvenirs at a very cheap price. Recently, the Indian government has taken steps to encourage the use of digital transactions like credit cards instead of cash. Even though if you have cash, you can really buy anything in the country. Indian cuisine is famous for its spices and flavors. Some popular dishes include biryani, which is a rice dish made with meat or vegetables, and samosas, which is a fried pastry with vegetables or meat. India is also really famous for its delicious street food. My favorite is called Pani Puri, which is these little circular bread, crunchy things with flavored water in the middle. It sounds weird, but it's really good and really cheap, like 10 cents. India is also the world's biggest vegetarian country, so you can find many restaurants that serve vegetarian food and non-vegetarian food. All right guys, now it's time to dive into some fun facts. Number one, if you go to McDonald's in India, do not expect to see Big Macs on the menu. That's because the Hindu religion considers cows to be very holy, so most states have banned killing or eating them. Also, there's a completely vegetarian menu if you're a vegetarian. Number two, besides the USA, what do you think is the largest English-speaking country in the world? If you answered England, you were wrong. India takes a title with over 125 million English speakers. That is crazy. Number three, India has had a rocky relationship with England in the past. That's because the British colonized it for nearly a century or a hundred years. It wasn't until a famous philosopher named Gandhi inspired a peace movement where India earned its independence back in 1947. Number four, India is the second largest producer of films in the world. That's right, instead of Hollywood, theirs is called Bollywood. And that takes me into my fun story about India. I was in a Bollywood film. Believe it or not, when I was walking on the streets of Mumbai by myself, some guy came up to me and said, hey, we can pay you if you wanna be in a famous Bollywood movie. Of course, I said, sure. I was like 23 years old at the time. I was traveling alone and I had nothing better to do. So I followed this guy to a studio. They dressed me up and we walked into this nightclub where there was loud music and I was sitting there dancing and I was supposed to hold like thousands of Indian rupees in my hand while I was surrounded by females. And it was a very strange experience. And I got to admit, they only paid me $20 for four hours worth of my time. And it was pretty exhausting, but a great experience nonetheless. Unfortunately, I don't have footage to show from that movie and I was never told what the actual name of the movie is so I don't have anything to show you from that experience. I will definitely give India another try and experience more that this country has to offer. Thank you so much for watching this video. This has been a fun episode of Geography with Drew Binsky, and stay tuned for next week where I'm going to take you to a very special country. 
，拜拜。